Honestly, Instagram is never as it seems. Obviously, social media is never as it seems, but I've been definitely in a bit of like a pensive mood lately and just like going over my past, bittersweet moments, happy moments, all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, this, I saw, um, Samantha Ravendahl, I think she did a video just like this where she was going through all of her Instagram photos and giving the backstory about how, like what was going on. So I was like, this will be fun. This will be a nice little journey. So let's do it. I'm pulling out my Instagram right now. Let me just screen record. Also, if you guys like this hair, I did a uh, tutorial on this on my channel. It doesn't look as good as it did before, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with like, Let's start with this one, this picture. So this was when I had just moved in out of my dad's place. I was living at my dad's place after university and I had just moved out in my own place. I did it by myself. I didn't ask for like advice or anything and I was just so proud. I was just so proud of myself because I, you know, saved up money, I got my shit, I made it work and I just like was ma just making it work at that time. I was piecing together jobs, I was scraping together money and finding like what my path would be and that was a very that was a very pivotal mo like pivotal time in my life because I was very much finding my independence and yeah, you can even see in the background like the furniture. Actually, I still have that couch. I actually knew I was like, let me just invest in some pieces, but yeah, it was like a pretty bare, but like it was a cool spot. If I have pictures, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna put them right here of that place because I, I really like that place. It was a nice place. Um, okay, what else? So this picture, I took this picture when I was in Florida with a group of friends and it was a really exciting time in my life because I had just applied to House, which is like a creative think tank. And I had gone on to the like the semi like the last interview before getting in and I remember getting that email and being like oh my god oh my god I'm, in, I'm like in the final round and they're like oh by the way like you have to interview with the guys and uh, it's like in three days or something and I was like oh my god like I need to catch a flight so I had to leave Florida early but I got in to the final round so I was really excited and that was that was also a super pivotal time in my life so this picture right here. This was when I was working for a jewelry brand called Finley. They're, they're no, they no longer, no longer exist, but it was really fun because I was working with people my age. I was doing projects that I was really proud of. And that was kind of the beginning of like realizing that I wanted to be in fashion for sure. Ooh, this picture. Oh. This picture is super bittersweet. I was, I started, so this was from a road trip I did with a serious boyfriend of mine. Well, he was serious to me. <laughs> know what he thinks about it but it was serious to me and we went to Bruce Peninsula which is like a five-hour drive but the water there is like clear you could take a straw to it and just drink from the lake and we just had the best time we were running around naked we were jumping off docks we were like it was a great we had a crazy canoe trip it wasn't a canoe trip it was actually a kayak trip because we basically got his friend to get us on a motorboat and take our kayaks, like drag them almost. And then we would kayak back to the mainland once we were done like off, because we were like on this island. Once we were done on the island, we would kayak back to the mainland. But what happened was, it was a horrible, rainy, choppy day. And we basically got all our camping gear, everything put them, it was heavy in the kayaks and started like kayaking back. And I got so, nauseous because it was such a choppy day. I was throwing up blueberries off the side of the <laughs> And I was like, I can't, I can't do it because there was like maybe like five hours to go or something. And I was like, I'm so nauseous. Like we need to call the Coast Guards. And he was, I, he was so upset. Like no man wants to call the Coast Guard. So um, the Coast Guards like dragged us back. They were kind of laughing at us, but I didn't give a fuck. I was like, this is my vacation. Like we're gonna have fun and I'm not throwing up off the side of this kayak. So that was really nice. That, time period was actually kind of like the beginning of the end of that relationship. I didn't realize it at the time, but that was when, you know, things started to go a little bit sour. <laughs> okay, this is actually a really interesting photo. So this, I was extremely thin in this photo. And that was, what, that was the very, very, very end of that relationship. 
and that I usually get really skinny when I'm like very stressed out and it's so interesting because I feel like if someone were to look at this like oh she's in Indonesia she's having an amazing time she looks fit but I was so stressed and sad it was a very sad time in my life and honestly even the caption like alpha female like I'm just like <laughs> you know what I mean I was just like not feeling that way. I was not feeling that way, so I had to like put it in a caption. <laughs> so, so stupid. Um, I love this picture. This was when I kind of like rekindled with one of my, so I have a very like, not on and off relationship, but like kind of on and off relationship with one of my childhood friends. And his name is Zoe. And on and off in the sense that we'll just pick up where we left off because we just like really understand each other. But this was an on, in an on time. And we were just like seeing each other so often. And this was during COVID. And I, I had like no human connection. And then like me and him just like started talking again and like hanging out and like whatever. And this was just such a fun time because it was like so cozy and like, and I remember just like bringing my sister and him to the park. And I was like, wow, all the people I love in one place. And it was so nice. So at this point, I was, I think this is just like a photo that I took of myself on the beach. I think like some random swim, swimwear brand reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to run a contest for your audience? And whoever wins will give a bathing suit. I'm almost 100% sure they didn't give a bathing suit to anyone, but yeah, Vachi swimwear. I don't even know if they still exist. Anyways, um, this was a really uh, like, exciting period in my life because I had just started Down Boy Studio, which was my makeup brand. I don't do it anymore, but it was a fun ride. Um, but yeah, it was just, I was just like always on the go, like talking to chemists to figure out my formulas and packaging and I had an intern and like, it was just so fun and so freeing. And I felt like I was doing a lot of things at, at a time. Like I was, I had my job, I think I had two jobs at the time and I was doing that and I was, like all over the place, but like really enjoying it. So this was a really, yeah, it's good to look back on this picture and be like, mm, that was a nice time in my life. Okay, this picture right here. So this, this, me and my sister went to Tulum because we realized, hey, we can literally just work remote. This is during the pandemic. And we had the time of our lives. Me and my sister are extremely, extremely, extremely close. And I never thought that I could get closer with a person, but during that trip, we got even more close and I saw a side of her that was like, I had never seen. Just like more in depth of her as an adult, because I knew her as a kid, I knew her as a teenager. And then, you know, when you become adults, like she got married and she, you know, we were each doing her own thing. I was very career focused. She was very career focused. And so when we had this, I think we had like a, a month or two together in Tulum, we really got to know each other even more. I didn't even think I could get to know her more, but we did. And we were having so much fun. We were riding on scooters. We were going to the beach. We definitely also saw like the ugly sides of each other during this trip. I saw a very like stressed outside of her and she also saw a very stressed outside of me. So. It's a very intimate thing, <laughs> it is, to be able to share that ugly side with any other human being, and I'm really glad that we got to do that. We just got really deep there, but it's true, it is what it is. And yeah, I also brought my dog. I brought my dog on the trip because like, I felt I had made a commitment. I got a dog, and if I'm gonna be gone for six months, she's coming with me. I'm not just gonna like dump her at a friend's house or something, so she really added a richness to this trip because I went from Tulum Oops, sorry. I went from Tulum to um, New York after. And that is where these pictures are from. These are all from New York. Um, New York was an extremely special time in my life. That's when I felt most at home because I feel like I'm a hustler. I'm always doing things. I'm always looking for the next, next, next. I'm a very motivated person and I live in Toronto. I live in Canada and I don't know if I, get that energy from here. I feel like uh, just the way that the system is, the way that the government has set up this country doesn't really facilitate growth in that way. There's obviously positives and negatives to that. We are more, there's more equality here, which I love and I appreciate, but for a personality type like me, I don't feel that I can grow so much. So anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is that during my trip to New York, I realized, okay, I need to live here. 
working on a visa right now as we speak for me to be able to move out there. But all these pictures are, yeah, I just felt good in this time. I was exploring, I was meeting new people, I was getting introduced to opportunities in fashion that I never thought that I would be able to get introduced to. So mm, just thinking about this makes me so happy. Um, yeah, like for example, this was a Tom Bogo. He's like a small designer in New York and I got to help backstage at fashion show, at fashion, fashion show, at fashion week. And I was like, ah! like so happy. Um, and yeah, just like such a good and happy time in my life. This is when it starts to get a little darker. <laughs> um, I took on a client in England no, at around this time. I took on a client in England and I've just like felt so lonely. I've always felt that I had really connected to English people. I don't know why. I just find them like smart, witty, funny, plugged in, cool, interesting, like polite. Like I like, I just like the culture. And somehow I was there and I was in Manchester and I was like, I feel alone. I do not feel good. And I didn't really like, and no offense, <laughs> like whatever, you don't have to like everyone you meet. But I didn't really like and connect with the people that I was working with while I was out there, so I felt so isolated. I, they were great people, I just, the reason why was because I felt there was such a culture difference and I didn't realize, I didn't realize. I felt like anything I said felt sounded like alien to them and I didn't feel understood. So that was Manchester and I didn't have a good time and I wouldn't go back. I would go back to London though. Um, what else? What else, what else? What else, what else, what else? Oh, okay, so this is a recent trip to Miami, which was like, I just took on a whim because my mom and my sister said they wanted to go and I was like, yes, I'm definitely coming. And that's when I realized, I was like, wait, maybe I can set up my life half in New York, half in Miami and like literally never see snowfall again. So that's what we're working on. But yeah, this was a really fun time. I met this guy named Henry. He is so cool um, and we would just like, would go on dates, nothing ever came of it. We were just like hanging out, going to museums, like whatever, but he was like really interesting to me because he definitely showed me like what I am looking for in a person. I, like he wasn't it for me, but I, I was, I was like, I'm looking for someone that's like fun and emotionally secure and stable. So um, yeah, he was just like happy and like a good guy. So that was like a fun little hangout vibe. Yeah, this is like, I guess the most recent. This is when, I don't know. Let's see if I can get through this without crying. Okay, so someone in my family got sick. So me and my sister were like, why don't we, and that person that really hasn't been experiencing life and happy. So me and my sister were like, let's take this person to Las Vegas uh, for their birthday. So we did and he was really happy and the happiest I've seen in a very long time. And honestly, good times, good, good times, bittersweet because obviously, you know, it's hard to see your family go through pain, but that is, I would say, <laughs> let's leave off on a sad note. <laughs> that is the most recent, I guess, like phase in my life right now. And like what I'm going through right now is, um, that and like navigating my relationship with life, honestly, in in this past few months. So that's what we're going through <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, it's hard. I definitely, I would say like I'm in an interesting point in my life right now because I am like very happy and very excited for all this new change of like moving to the States and this job that like I'm obsessed with. I work for a company called Vitaly and I also do Shopify as well, but um, I'm just like so happy in work. I, I would say like, I'm just like extremely laser focused on this family member and like making sure that they are good, but also like really anxious about it. And also like, yeah, trying to find a partner, but like in maintaining my independence because I love it. There's just, I just, yeah. So this kind of brings us up to current. <laughs> so yeah, this kind of brings us up to current. This is kind of like where I'm at in my life right now. Happy, but still navigating. And yeah, this has been so fun. I'm glad that I got to,
go through this, take a little walk down memory lane up to current present day. And yeah, this video has nothing to do with makeup or fashion, which is what I usually talk about on this channel. But someone recently, like literally this morning was like, you should film a vlog because we want to get to know you and like your dog. So I did this video, <laughs> but actually I, this dog hasn't been in this video. So let me come and get her. so much so this is sandwich oh hi angel so she's a really really good dog she is a rescue i got her from turkey i think she was a stray dog i don't know much information but when i first saw her i was like no i don't want this dog because i was just fostering her and i was like ew she's so small i really wanted a great dane like i wanted a massive massive dog I love you. Ugh. But then I fell in love with her and um, she's really good. She's like very obedient, very gentle. I'm so happy. She came to me in my life at the right time and I came to hers in the right time as well. So we're doing some stuff for each other. Look at this angel. Look at her, she's so cute. So that is it. You guys got to know me. You guys got to know my dog and I will see you guys next week. Bye.